What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So quick disclaimer for this video, this is kind of a rant style video. So if you just wanna watch tips and tricks, this might not be the video for you as this is less of a positive styled video, but let's get right into it, what I wanna talk about today. Okay, so this video stems from a video I made a couple weeks ago, actually it was about a month ago, about the changes that Niantic made on our making post COVID world to bring the world back to normal. I'll leave a link below to that video if you wanna take a look at it, but pretty much in that video, I explained feedback on all the changes that Niantic are making. Should they remove all the COVID bonuses should they keep some, all that stuff, and pretty much me and most of the community's opinion on this matter. And we hoped that Niantic would go ahead and listen to us. I'll leave a link below to the official article that they released for all the changes, but pretty much the main one that most of the community was concerned about was that Previously, Pokestop distance and interaction distance were increased to enable people to engage from further away. After this change, the distance will revert back to the standard distance when it makes sense in different places, though may be increased during future events and as certain features. Now, at the time, you know, I wasn't that angry at the change. I didn't think it was the best change to make, and I explain why in that video, so you can check that out if you're confused on why, you know, I don't think they should be reverting this change. But, you know, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give Niantic time. I'm gonna give them time to go ahead and listen to us and our opinions. I also want to know during that time, it wasn't just me talking about this issue. First of all, plenty of other YouTubers made videos. I think Zoe made a video, Brandon made a video. I know the Trainer Club made a video as well. And all of Twitter was raging about these changes and pretty much our opinions, although some of the feedback was very negative and very terribly done. I know some people were attacking different people who work at Niantic on Twitter, which is not the way to go about this at all, since those people don't really have any play in the decisions. Generally, the feedback was that community didn't think this was for the best. With that in mind, the community decided to stay stand up and made a petition. I know the trainer club shared this petition on his video about boycotting Niantic. I shared this petition. This is the petition right here that I linked to and the trainer club and other people linked to as well on Twitter. Pretty much keep it increased Pokestop gym interaction distance. Pretty much if you sign this, you're pretty much saying that I don't think that this is a good change for Niantic. We have 122,000 signatures for this petition. And I even believe there is a second petition. If anyone knows, I think there was a second petition made. Of course, some people can duplicate and sign both but that second petition I think has like at least 50,000 signatures as well. Pretty much it was very clear that the community did not want this change on Twitter, it was everywhere as well. And actually you can even see on recent Twitter posts as well. Like for example here, um, this was during um, GoFest. It says if trainers complete 24 global challenges, they'll unlock part three, what awaits us? And literally the first tweet is it's double spin distance, but permanent, we hope, with 400 likes on that tweet. And then right here again, trainer Ganford. Like there's plenty of people who are still tweeting at Niantic saying, hey, we don't think this is a good change. Now, again, at the time I was like, you know, Niantic has a lot going on. GoFest is around the corner. So much going on. Ultra Unlock, all that stuff. So many announcements to make. So I was like, you know what? I'm sure they're going to address the community concerns, you know, once GoFest finishes or when they have time. But it is July 23rd. And these changes here are supposed to start rolling out July 22nd, I believe, in Australia and US. So I think USA and Australia do get these changes the half spin distance and pretty much everything in this blog post and Niantic still hasn't responded to the concerns. Now, I know some people in the comments are gonna be like, yo, bro, just like let it go. Like, you know, it's not important at all. Like I change this and spin distance is fine. And some people don't really care. But my main issue here is Niantic is not listening to community at all. You're telling me when we get 120,000 people to sign a petition out of, you know, there's 600,000 active players right now. Of course, there are probably more players. Let's say there's average a million players playing Pokemon Go, you know, kind of on a daily basis. That's one tenth of the community, plus all the people tweeting, plus all the people tweeting them at Twitter hasn't seen the concern from the community about this change. Now, my main issue here is that Niantic hasn't addressed us at all. They've just been ignoring us, pretending like, you know, hey, we made the decision, it's gonna happen. I don't care if Niantic goes ahead and just makes a simple tweet and says, hey, we've heard your concerns, but we're still keeping the change. We think it's what's best for the game. I don't care if they do that. The issue is they haven't. The issue is that we as a community try to speak back to Niantic and they don't say anything back to us. Even if it's like, hey, we heard your concerns, but we're still going through with it. Even if they decline us, I don't care. Decline us, just talk to us, man. It's been two months of us directly tweeting at them, signing petitions, trying to get Niantic's attention to talk to us and listen to our concerns about what the changes are make from the player base, from the people who play the game on the daily basis, from 120,000 people who play the game, the people who play your game and you're not even talking to them. So man, this is just a rant here because I'm getting frustrated 
the end. I don't like that. Like Niantic, what are you doing, man? Talk to us. Really, this video is just about, first of all, trying to spread awareness because people think I forgot about it. People are like, oh, you know, Niantic announced all this stuff, GoFest, all this hype, and people are forgetting about the things they're doing. I haven't forgotten. I'm still remembering that Niantic has not talked to us about this thing. I want to make sure that you guys don't forget that Niantic needs to listen to us. So I hope that this video can, you know, maybe spark some more people to go ahead and keep voicing our concerns in a respectful way. Remember, please don't be too aggressive towards Niantic as, you know, most of the people that you are going to be tweeting at directly aren't going to be responding. It's going to be the people that are reading the tweets later and the boards and stuff like that. Man, it's just, it's really, it's really disappointing. It's really disappointing. With this being said, what does this mean about the future of the channel? Well, first of all, I'm kind of in a tough spot because I want to go ahead and not spend as much money on the game. I don't want to support this company as much if they're going to go ahead and keep not listening to the community. I love the game Pokemon Go. I think it's one of the best games in the world, but the fact that Niantic runs it and Niantic is not listening to the community at all really holds it back. Niantic, you could do so much better. You could just go ahead and tweet at us. You know, maybe this video, I'm hoping that this video doesn't actually have to go out. I'm hoping that by the time I edit it and everything like that, Niantic does something. And maybe Niantic support tweet about something. So if, the, if I am missing something and I'm sounding completely ridiculous as Niantic did address the concern somewhere, let me know in the comments below. But you know, I know for a fact that I'm going to be spending less money on Pokemon Go. I'm going to be setting a pretty low budget a month. It's I am put in a very tough position as I do need to make content for you guys. And that does sometimes require me paying for raid passes and things like that. So I can show you guys what the game is like and make sure that I use my money so you guys know if it's going to be worth it for you. But I know for a fact that I'm going to be using way less money on this game. I'm not going to keep supporting a company that just doesn't listen to the community at all. It really sucks. I'm in a tough position. I've grown a crazy amazing community. You guys are amazing. But the fact that the company that runs this beautiful game that we play won't even listen to its fan base just really puts me off. So honestly, guys, that's the video. I just want, you know, people to remember that Niantic has not tweeted at us about this. We've voiced our concerns. We've talked to them for the past month. I think this was a month ago. We've been, it's been a month since we started tweeting at them and Niantic still hasn't done anything. So I'd love for you guys to let me know your concerns below. What you guys think about this whole situation. Do you think I'm like overreacting right now? Do you think this is too much? Do you care? Really in the end, I think the main issue is that Niantic is not communicating with us. I don't care if they end up keeping Pokestop distance at half, like revert it. I don't care. I just want to know that Niantic has heard the concerns and that people don't like it instead of just going ahead and following through with any decision they want to go ahead and make. With that being said, guys, that's the video. I appreciate you all watching. Comment below what you think about all this. We're going to see you guys in the next one. Follow for tips, baby. Peace.